Hello guys and welcome to another sneak peek. This time we're looking at Catherine, which is uh, published by Deep Silver and developed by Atlas. I've got uh, the person who's reviewing it for us, Aaron with me. Aaron, how Yo. are you doing? I'm sexual. Uh, much like Catherine, I guess. Um, so yeah, we're, we're going to show you an early, well, the, the intro and how everything kicks off. You can hear everything. Has got a weird look about it, and even the the menus are voice. So the the guy um, or a guy talks over the menus. Uh, we'll start off with normal, um, but we've we've heard and uh, um, we kind of know <laughs> after playing it a little bit as well that the puzzles are quite hard. Uh, this is uh, even though it's got an anime style, it is mostly a puzzle based game. Um, Aaron, so sort of so far, like what you've seen of Catherine. Um, are you looking forward to banging out your review for this game? <laughs> it looks it looks hilarious. I imagine that I'll snicker to myself uh, <laughs> over and over with this game. But it, it looks interesting on the puzzle side too, uh, from what I'm hearing yeah. um, and seeing. It's it's quite the challenge. So yeah. hopefully, if I don't tear up my eyeballs before <laughs> the end of the review, I should enjoy it. <laughs> cool. And uh, I, I know you're into the anime culture and you watch a lot of animes yourself. Uh, looking at the intro here um, for Catherine, it's got a very unique, well, it's got a unique style to it. Um, so you'll see the woman with the afros come and sit down in the chair here, introduce you to a TV show style, um, and it's called the Golden Playhouse, and obviously it's Catherine playing here. But what do you think of uh, of what you're seeing here? I can't help but feel that they're, they're, they're trying to take the piss out of uh, Bayonetta here, yeah, mate. <laughs> Maybe you know, I remember the, the, yeah, the bar scene, and then you've got that black man behind the bar. But yeah, um, it's, uh, it looks interesting. Um, it's a nice, it's a nice star. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. It, it does indeed. And what do you? Uh, and this, uh, this little TV uh, show style intro introduces you to the characters of Catherine. Uh, you play as Vincent, who is a video game designer, believe it or not, um, and uh, he's in a relationship with. Uh, well, wait a minute. This might get confusing. Catherine with a K. Um, and she wants to get married and whatnot, and to, but he's not ready yet. And he's having nightmares with uh, with goats uh, or sheep, sorry, as you do. Um, and then one night in a bar when he's a bit drunk, he meets um, a Catherine again, Catherine with a C. <laughs> so if you're not confused by it, uh, might yet. Um, but yeah, it's, it's it's unique to say the least. Isn't that right, Aaron? And you're forgetting he has the most epic boxes in the world. He does, yeah. Um, I think the, these boxes came with the uh, US Special Edition, if you purchased that. You're wearing um, them right now, aren't you? I'm, I've got a couple of pairs, I'm not going to lie. I'm <laughs> lying. Um, but as we zoom into the TV show, uh, it cuts into a more uh, a proper anime style. Um, again, you're a huge fan of animes. Um, in terms of the visual style here, what do you think? Um... It's a bit weird, but again, that goes with the whole it, the yeah. whole premise of the, the game, really, isn't it? So yeah, it's a bit weird. I'm 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 sure people are hearing like English English voiceovers yeah. at the moment. Um, hopefully, there's actually a Japanese dub of this yeah. somewhere on the on the CD. I, I think the, uh, the English voiceovers will probably annoy me quite a bit. Okay, but um, again, in terms of the style style. Um, in terms of the animes you watch, is it in line with that? Or is well, it... there's a varying different style, so it depends on what kind of anime you like. But it seems to be, it seems to be more akin to like things like Death Note, and that it doesn't seem to be like the type of style you would associate for this kind of crazy um... over the top, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah no, sex-driven story. <laughs> sex-driven story, indeed. Yeah. Um, so yeah. They... Again, this is it's, it's quite a lengthy intro, uh, but it's, uh, it's it's just getting you into the to the style of things that Catherine, uh, as you progress your your play. So you got sheep, uh, uh, which play a big part actually in in, in the game. Um, so yeah, you'll see things cut into uh, some actual gameplay, and you'll see uh, that uh, as you mentioned earlier, it's uh, mostly based around puzzles, and uh, the puzzles are Vincent's nightmares. Um, so you'll see that in a minute. And this is the place that he hangs out, the Stray Sheep Bar, where he meets Catherine with a C. Um, again, a lovely shot of those boxes there. We love those. Love those. So yeah, uh, I, I I know you saw the saw this uh, this little puzzle 
um, Arab. <laughs> yeah. and, and it doesn't seem like I, I, people are probably watching this and thinking oh, that doesn't look so hard. But um, apparently, this is one of the most easiest. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. puzzles in the game. So never fear those who uh, crave punishment. There are harder puzzles around. Oh, yeah, no, definitely. Our, our man Adrian, he's uh, he's played the imported version quite a while back, and uh, he has mentioned to us that it's very very hard on one of the one of the podcasts we had recently. Um, so this is the first first stage, uh, the underground cemetery. Simple enough. You'll you'll hear the voiceovers from from the from the. Uh, t- this is basically a tutorial type level, uh, explaining the mechanics around the puzzle itself. You just got to climb up, but you can push the blocks in and out. Um, just, it's it's like a weird game of Tetris, Aaron. That's sort of <laughs> <laughs> uh, with with goats. Uh, or, or sorry, sheep's not, not goats. And random omnipotent voice giving you instructions. <laughs> yeah, you'll you'll get that throughout throughout the uh, throughout the puzzles you access in the game. Um, but yeah, the main aim is obviously just to climb up and reach the reach the exit. It's simple as that. But the, as you'll see, this one's a bit easier than the others. But as you progress, you'll have certain elements thrown in. So you'll, some blocks will um, will fall after you step over them a couple of times. Um, so you can't go back. Um, but there's also a mechanic as well. If you press select, you can undo your last move. So if you um, if you moved a block into a place and you're like, oh crap, I didn't want to move it there. Press the select button, and you can move it, uh, and you can rewind uh, one step. Uh, it just takes like real life. It just like real life, but it is a mad dream. So yeah, uh, but, but, it, but it does take away from your overall score, and you're given a rating at the end, which is bronze, silver, gold. So bear in mind if you do if you do rewind, uh, it will take away from the score. Um, and the pillows you see there are, are, if you collect those, you'll get extra retries. So if you somehow manage to fall off the level. Uh, or you die for for whatever reason, which I won't ruin here. You can die uh, uh, in certain ways, but uh, yeah. Um, and then as you progress, also there's there's elements of uh, uh, that affect Vincent's psyche. So as as you choose, again, I won't ruin it for you. As uh, you'll be able to choose in a certain way about love and marriage and stuff. You'll have questions posed at you, and that will affect your psyche. Um, I imagine your choices, Aaron, will be that I don't want to get married. Is that right? Um, yeah, <laughs> basically. <laughs> I mean, I think the I think the ones I chose in the first few stages were I chose one that was like pro, like love and marriage, and one that was kind of a negative towards love and marriage. And it's sort of a, it's a random meter that's uh, that just pops up, and it's like it's got half is red, half is blue. It basically shows how his psyche is progressing. Um, but yeah, um, hopefully you don't tear your hair, Aaron. I mean, as, as you progress through the game, I I'm sure the I'm sure the the random crazy animations will uh <laughs> will soothe me. <laughs> but, uh, he literally is standing like he needs to take a shit. <laughs> <laughs> he is. He really, really is. He really, really is indeed. And you can collect these coins as well, which uh, uh, add to your score overall score at the end. Um, I'm trying to trying to think if, if there's anything else you should guys you guys should know about. Uh, in between levels, you'll go to the stray sheet bar. You have a phone uh, as well, which uh, you'll get text messages from your girlfriend Catherine with a K, and you can actually respond to her. So you got certain responses you can choose from, and again, that will affect your psyche as well and your relationship with her. So that's another interesting mechanic there. So Aaron, don't piss off Catherine, man. I'll try not to. I might just do it just to see what happens, you know. <laughs> but, you know we'll see, we'll see. We'll see indeed. I mean, it's hard to sort of... Obviously, there's, it's it's mostly based around puzzles, but it's hard to sort of pinpoint in, this into a genre. Um, if you were to... If you if you were, apart from, you know, crazy puzzle game, maybe? Is, is, <laughs> is, is that the best way to describe it? <laughs> yes, I think it is. It's crazy. its own new genre. It's invented a genre. Well, there, there you go. go. Indeed, yeah, it's, it's it's a crazy new genre, but uh, this is coming towards the end of this sort of uh, this particular puzzle in this stage, and you'll hear you'll hear bells chiming in the background that indicate you're almost near the end. Uh, so a simple push of the block there. This this uh, was actually the second time I did this, so I, I kind of knew what I was doing. Um, so I kind of cheated to get a gold a gold uh, gold reward at the end, and you can also replay these as well. So. You'll get again. You'll get text messages on your phone while you're in the in the bar, telling you you can replay 
uh, certain missions and go back and get a better score. But just sort of general thoughts, Aaron. Are, are you looking forward to getting getting stuck into Catherine and uh, uh, and being involved in the craziness? You know me. I I, uh, I love everything Japanese, and I also love a challenge. And this just it seems like it's going to deliver on both fronts. So, well, uh, hopefully, hopefully, I'll enjoy it a lot. Good stuff. Good stuff. Well, that's the end of that mission, and uh, there's a little cutscene that follows in the nice anime style. We'll let you watch that. Uh, we'll say our goodbyes now. Uh, thanks for watching, Aaron. Uh, always a pleasure. I love you all. I love you all. Good times. Good times. See you later, guys. code review meeting really no no I'm just uh, just a little under the weather no no it's okay I'll be right there yeah um, sorry <laughs> <laughs>